Good day, everyone. Today, I'm going to cover the topic about the WLAN topology. Objective. Upon completion of this course, you will be able to describe A02.11 basic concept, summarize the basic WLAN topology, list Huawei WDS networking mode, and also including the mass networking mode. So let's begin at the first content, A02.11 WM basic concept. So here we have some of the list for the basic element summary. So we have the BSS. So the BSS is stand for the basic service set. Then the next one we have the BSA, basic service area. ESS, extended service set, SSID. So this is the very common name that we know. And the last one is BSSID. So SSID is the identifier of the wireless network can be used to distinguish different wireless network. So we can just assume this is one of the name for the wireless access. So for one of the AP, we can create um, the different name for the, the wireless access. So all the user here, the STA, STA stands for the station. Okay, they can choose what is the SSID they're going to connect. Then one AP can support server SSID. So that's mean one A, uh, one AP is on, not only can able to broadcast one SSID. We are allowed to cre cre create the multiple SSID in one AP. Okay, so this one is the um, the SSID. So every single SSID will be con uh, together with one of the BSSID. So the BSSID, in another word, we can call as a MAC address of the AP. So every single SSID must come together with the BSSID. So you know, uh, currently the SSID is broadcast from which AP. So right now they have a guest SSID and also the internal SSID. So these two SSID, how are we going to know these two SSID come from the same AP? So we can just look at the MAC address here. Okay, this is the BSSID. So look at the front number here. You notice the, the hex here is actually all the same. Only the last number here is different. Okay, because every single SSID do need to have the one unique BSSID. Okay, so that's why the first one I might using the, the zero and the second one I can using one, two, three or whatever. Okay, so the SS user right now, the SDA number one, he trying to connect to the internal, this is the SSID and he know right now I connected to this BSSID. So this is the API connect to. Then the next one is the BSS. So the BSS, is one of the services used by all the wireless access. So right here, we have two different BSS. The first BSS, okay, we can call it as the, um, the infrastructure. So infrastructure means all the current uh, wi wireless user is connecting to the AP to form the wireless access. So you basically you have one agent at the between wherever you want to transfer the data to another SPA. So you, everything you have to go through the AP. I send to you want to go to the internet. So this one is called the infrastructure BSS. We also have one uh, BSS is called independent BSS. So independent means they can actually access the wireless connection without go through the AP itself. So some of the technology can uh, able to achieve that, like um, Bluetooth, infrared. So they can doing those kind of the point to point connection without point to the AP. So this is the name for the BSS, okay, basic, basic service set. And the next, ESS, extended service set. So this one is an extended service set for the multiple interconnected BSS with the same SSID. So what does it mean here? When we have one SSID, okay, uh, they broadcast from the AP number one here, but because of this uh, coverage we call as BSA, Okay, the basic service area by the AP. So I only can cover uh, on this area. If you're leaving my area here, you lost the connection. So how are I going to extend my service into another area? So 
when we want to do in the extension for the service access, then you require another AP with using the same SSID configuration. But of course, you need to make sure these two SSID is using the same ESS. Then when the PC try to room to another AP, they'll know right now they actually still connected to the same SSID. Okay, so we have to put this AP into the same group. Then the next is BSSID. So BSSID is the basic service set ID, uh, ID, uh, identifier. Okay, it's the MAC address of an AP. So every single AP will have its own MAC address. So right here, we're already giving you the assembler, the marketing with this uh, BSSID. You notice right now we have two same SSID. Bruce casting from the uh, AP number one. Okay, are using the BSSID is two four A zero. In the AP number two, AP number two is the same SSID, but somehow my BSSID here is different. It's three one. Zero. So this is how the PC know we actually connect to uh, connected to which AP using the BSSID to recognize. Okay. Okay, and this is the BSA. Content number two, basic WLAN topology. So this is some of the list of the uh, WLAN topology included the ad hoc network topology, infrastructure, WDS, and the last is mass networking topology. So the first one, ad hoc topology. So for this kind of connection mode, the BSS will call as the independent BSS because all the PC here, it doesn't require to connect through the AP. They can form a connection by itself okay, using the ad hoc um, some of the hotspot to form the connections. Then the next one for this is the basic concept of the DS. So the DS is stand for distribution systems. Okay, in another word we can call this is the uplink connection for all the AP. So it's the backbone network for the AP to transmit the frame. Because at the end of the day, all the wireless uh, transmit the data right, still will go back to the uh, the wire network. So this is where they actually connected to. So basically they name it as a DS. Okay, then this is the infrastructure networking topology. So the first one is showing single AP connected with multiple um, PC. Okay, the SDA one, two, and three. And the other one is using two different AP, two different AP, and they connected to the SDA 1, 2, 3, and 4. So for this kind of connection, they have a wide coverage area. If all the SDA want to perform the rooming from one BSA entering to another BSA, so first you have to create the ESS and make sure they have using the same SSID. Recommended for the OLED bank area here, we need to make sure at least have around like 10 to 15 percent. Okay, just roughly you do because sometimes we very difficult to estimate the range of the overlapping area. A wireless dis uh, distribution system, for sure, we call as WDS. Using the wireless link to connect two or more independently wired or the wireless LAN, so that user in this LAN can communicate with each other. So they form the wireless bridging to hook up these two wireless devices together without using any LAN cable. The wireless technology improves networking flexibility and the convenience. In WDS development, the networking mode are classified into the following type. So they have three different types. The first one is point to point. Okay, then the next is point to multi point and repeated mode. Okay, so the next one is the WDS uh, application. So a sample of the WDS application scenario. So right here is showing you have one AC, the access controller, AP two, and also the AP number one. So when we want to forming the the LAN connection, is still using the LAN cable. 
we can actually using the wireless bridging. So of course, this one need to make sure the both APs can support this feature. So this is called a point-to-point -point connection. As you can see, um, the AP2 and AP1, they're only using uh, the wireless to, to connect. So the next, the WDS topology for the point-to-point. -point. So the AP number one, when the main AP is connected to the uplink, so we will name this as the, um, the root AP. The bottom one we will call as the leaf AP. And also, we based on the coverage, we also can configure the root AP connected to the multiple leaf. So all the leaf AP will connect to one root AP. So for the WDS topology, we also have many different type of the configuration. So like just now, it's uh, mainly for point to point and also the point to multi point. So for this one, they're using the repeated mode. So the repeat, repeated mode, we'll be going to make one of the AP to add like the meter AP. So they put at the meter. So at the same time, you will receive the, the signal from the AP number one, get the root AP, and you will broadcast the signal and form the bridging connection to the leaf AP. So basically for WDS, it's recommended using the 5 GHz frequency band to form the bridging link. And then for the access VLAN, okay, oh, sorry, the access user, we're all using the 2.4. Okay, so this is the service VLAN. So for this kind of connection, we call it as a hand-in-hand. -hand. And the other is called back-to-back. So back-to-back means I actually have two different AP here put at the meter. I will not going to make the AP become two meter. Okay, I'm using only root leaf, root and leaf. This kind of topology is called back to back. So for compared to the previous one, all the WDS is all facing the same issue, which is if the meter somehow is failed or maybe the wires become um, unstable. So it will cause the bridging uh, field to forming the connection and all the leaf you start to lose the, the internet connection. So to prevent this happen, that's why they come out the, the mess. Okay, so this is a wireless mess network. So it's a communication network that consists of multiple wirelessly connected AP in the mess topology and connect to the wire network through a portal node or two portal nodes. So this is all the mess thing. Basically all the AP will have lot of the um, the link redundant link connection so you no need to worry they have a single link fail so maybe my one of the AP on the top so this is my first AP the second AP the AP on the top here the link connection here so they maybe cause some of the interference surrounding here so they cause the link become instable so no worry we can still able to using another path to go back to the root so they have a redundant design. So for this WMN, they have three AP row. The first name for the root, compared to the just now the WDS, we only have three naming for the um, WDS, which is the root, middle, and the leaf. For the WMN, this one is using the MPP, okay, the mass portal point. So this one is what we call the root AP. Okay, this is the main AP connected to the uplink. So those are the AP located at the middle, or we can call this is a hub AP. So the main function of this a, uh, AP is used to transmit the signal connected to all the MAP. Okay, MP is the mass point. MAP is the mass AP. Okay, mass access point. So this mass access point you're going to uh, provide the, um, the wireless access for all the end user. At the same time, they also connected with MP. So the AP are connected with the redundant connection between the node to solve the single point failure. So this is the reason why we're going to use uh, the mass uh, topology here. So why we want to using the mass uh, networking? Because we want to prevent the single link failure or maybe they have a single AP problems.
so they always have those of the uh, the backup. Another thing we have to concern when using the mask, you need to consist about those of the channel interference. Okay, uh, how wide of the coverage area we have to control, and what's the channel that we're going to use? Because more AP that you deploy in this network, you give you more redundancy, but in a chance, they also will give you more interference. Okay, so this is the place we have to take concerns. And this is the outdoor WMN. So for some of the wide area, if they want to have the very wide coverage area, they need to use a lot of the outdoor AP deployed at the outdoor. Okay, this is all the outdoor AP, have a very wide coverage area. So as you can see, uh, all the APs are using the, the full mass connection. So summary, A02.11 WLAN basic concept I did cover and also what is the topology for the WLAN.